and uh, got tested yesterday for COVID-19, and the results came back positive. That's Oklahoma's Republican Governor Kevin Stitt announcing Wednesday that he contracted coronavirus, the first U.S. governor to say he was infected. So I feel feel fine. Uh, I felt a little bit achy yesterday. I uh, didn't have a fever, but just a little bit achy. So I just want to be transparent with Oklahomans. The 47-year-old encouraged Oklahomans to get tested as the state reported a record case increase for the second day in a row on Wednesday with 1,075 new cases, bringing its total to more than 22,800. Um, Commissioner Fry and I have, have worked with uh, contact tracers, uh, based on when my symptoms uh, developed. Um, I would not have been contagious since before Saturday. I didn't have the traditional uh, symptoms of COVID, and that's kind of interesting for us to, to think about. That's why I just want to encourage Oklahomans to continue to get tested. I want to use my story to remind Oklahomans that if you aren't feeling well, uh, we want we want you to get tested. Stitt has faced a backlash early on in the pandemic for downplaying the threat of the virus and resisting recommendations to close schools and restaurants. We've been very clear about we're not going to mandate masks throughout the state of Oklahoma. Stitt has encouraged his residents to wear face masks, but said in June he would not issue a statewide mandate. I'm not worried about Oklahomans. I don't want to get to a point where we start shaming people for choosing not to wear a mask. There could be, there could be reasons why they don't want to wear a mask or they couldn't wear a mask. On behalf of Oklahoma, we're so excited to have you. And, and Stitt himself rarely wears a mask in public, including his visit to the White House last month and at a Trump rally held in Tulsa on June 20th. That rally was attended by thousands of people, most of them not wearing masks, going against the advice of health officials to not gather in large groups. Since the Tulsa rally, coronavirus cases in the surrounding county have risen to over 5,200. That's a 219% increase over the last four weeks, according to a Reuters analysis.